Spider-Man is finally joining the Avengers. You got the Amazing Spider-Man 2, which I thought I thought it was okay. I don't think it's as bad as everybody's saying it is. I thought it was okay. It's better than Spider-Man 3. I don't know what kind of storyline they've been trying to play out with the Amazing Spider-Man, but you know, they add shit in the trailers, and then they take that out in the movie. So, I'm missing a whole angle of their story here. Now, I already know Marvel will do an outstanding job and give us the greatest Peter Parker and Spider-Man that we've ever had. Because Sony has been kind of lackluster. Now, however, I really feel like Sony pulled the absolute worst business decision ever. Hear me out. They had Spider-Man, and Marvel got X amount of dollars. That's it. Now, I don't know what kind of deal they worked out. You've got Sony, who's now giving Marvel creative control of the movies, and you've given them an increased pay cut in the movie. They're going to need more money because they're doing more work. If I read correctly, they said Sony still maintains creative control, but if you're going into the fucking Marvel Cinematic Universe, no, you do not have fucking creative control. Instead of making less money and having less creative control, they could have fucking got their heads out of their ass and developed a decent script. So now, problem lies in a few years from now, after Spider-Man is established in the MCU and is doing awesome, Marvel, they have their legal team working around the clock to find a legal loophole to shut Sony out. Marvel already owns Spider-Man. So they're going to find something in the contract that says, okay, Sony, you're done. They're getting loopholed out of there. It is the dumbest business decision ever. Now on to Spider-Man in the Avengers. The only thing that I don't like about Spider-Man jumping in right now. It was rumored that the Black Panther would get Spider-Man's role in this comic storyline. Now, they're going to take their most popular character ever and place him in the middle of these movies. And now, some of the minor characters lose a little bit of spotlight. That's my only worry with throwing Spider-Man in. Another question I have. They included Spider-Man in their Disney Infinity game. He has his own worlds, his own New York City. He's got... Sam Jackson is Nick Fury in his level. Why are there no X-Men? Why are there no Fantastic Four? Marvel a little jealous that they have some legit competition over there. Now, personally, I felt like Spider-Man could have done fine on his own. He didn't need to go back to Marvel. They, he could have went to someone else because he doesn't absolutely need to be in the MCU. And the MCU does not absolutely need him. And honestly, I would have rather seen... The Silver Surfer. Because now that they have Guardians of the Galaxy and they're actually exploring the cosmos, there's a lot they could fucking do with the Silver Surfer. But I will take Spider-Man. I worked so hard on a Spider-Man section of my Marvel show. There we go. Now he's with his peoples. Till the next time I see ya, stay true and stay blue. I hope I make it home tonight.